Hey everybody, this is Simmer Erin, and today I have an exclusive Q&A with the maker of Paralyze, Alex Massey. So I did ask Alex a couple questions, and luckily they were really kind and helpful and they did say they don't have any time for any interviews or anything like in depth like that so please do not contact them they're working really hard on the game but they were really willing to answer just a few quick questions for me because i've been really excited about paralyzed and i want to bring some information to you guys so i asked alex just four basic questions and got some interesting answers so i really hope you enjoy them so the first question I asked Alex was, there was some confusion about the term open world in the Steam listing. You also mentioned terms like open neighborhood or city. Can you explain this? How will the worlds or neighborhoods work in Paralives? And Alex replied, if you played The Sims 3, it's a lot like that, this game. There is a small town and your characters can move between different buildings and lots without any loading screen. So that doesn't totally answer my question in terms of if there's going to be multiple worlds. To me, it kind of sounds like there's going to be one world slash neighborhood, but it does answer basically how it's going to work. So it does sound a lot like Sims 3. So that kind of excites me, not going to lie. So my next question was, what is your favorite feature or a feature you would consider especially revolutionary? So Alex said, one of my favorite features is the fact that you can build walls of any length and any angle with a curve if you want. So I really do like that too. I think the flexibility of building is going to be just really fun no matter what. Like if you are just a builder, you might just really like those features. And he also said, I'll finally be able to recreate my own house. Yeah, so I think definitely sometimes we have some limitations in The Sims and we can't do some of that stuff. So that's really cool. My next question was, what is something you'd love to have in the game but don't see happening? So I just thought that this would be kind of an interesting question in terms of maybe some limitations for the game. And I will credit Hip Hip Renee on this, aka Renee, because she kind of gave me this idea, I believe it was her, to kind of ask some question like this. And he said he would love to have a multiplayer option. You could interact with your friends, characters, and even build a house together. That would be great, but unfortunately it's a ton of work so I prefer to focus on the single player experience. I totally get that. Honestly, I don't really care about having a multiplayer option myself, but I, I know a lot of people might find that fun, but definitely not something I expected. So my last question was trying to get a little bit more juicy and I, I didn't want to push him too much, but I did want a little bit to see if you know, he could reveal something ahead of time. And I said, can you give us any hints about what to expect about Parafolks or content coming up? Because I've been so curious about Parafolks, especially because most of the footage we've seen, or actually pretty much all of it, has been about building. And so I know he's been working in Parafolks, but I am just really curious. And so here's what he said. Can't reveal much about the Parafolks other than they will be a bit cartoony, but with lots of details and realistic proportions. Looking forward to reveal them and more gameplay content. Hope that helps. So let's just go over and summarize what I just said because I know I went for that pretty quickly. So basically in terms of the worlds, it is going to work kind of like Sims Free in that you can move from different lots and different buildings without any loading screens. One of the features he likes the best is that there's a lot of flexibility in the build and I think we've seen that it's kind of spoken for itself in terms of the videos and I really do like the curved walls but I also really like what I can see in terms of customization would be something I would mention. And then there will not be a multiplayer option, not really any disappointment there. And then finally of course with the pair of folks, he's you know not really answering a lot of questions still which I totally get it, I wouldn't. Be answering tons of questions if I was still developing them but he did confirm that they are gonna look a little cartoony which honestly number one Sims 4 looks kind of cartoony and number two like it wouldn't make sense if they didn't look cartoony with like the pair folks uh, the paralyzed graphics but he said lots of details in realistic proportion so I'm really interested in that a while back I found something that said he was working on potentially hiring a 3d artist so I'm wondering if some of those people were for the para folks, so that'd be really interesting to see what's going on with that. If he's been hiring some outside artists, I don't know. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. Again, 
I don't really have any more information for you at this time, but I'm definitely always keeping track with Paralives. And I just wanted a little bit of a sneak peek. And honestly, definitely, if you do feel like you have the money and you want to, you can support his Patreon. He just seems like a really nice down-to-earth person from the little I've interacted with him. And I feel like he's a really hard worker. So I'm excited for this game, even though I love I love The Sims as well. But I am excited to see where this goes. So let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.